So that was the concept of the XML model. Now let us go ahead and see the next step what we are going to do. Our next step what we are going to do is build the resource model. Why resource model? What is the purpose of the resource model? Let's talk about that. So when we build application, we develop them not just to serve one location. Most of the companies are working as MNCs. They have businesses across the globe. At times, there is a need to translate the application to different languages like German, French, yes, Sweden, Swedish. Italiano, etc. So we would like to translate our application to multiple languages. Like in India itself, we have 27 plus different languages. Punjabi, Marathi, Bengali, Marwadi, Gujarati, Telugu, Tamil, Kannada, Malayali, right? We have so many languages. So if we want our user attention, user wants to use the app in different languages. We can certainly do that without much effort. We don't need to build separate, separate application for that. Application can be translated quite easily to different languages. So here comes two important rules. Let me insert image. So two important concepts comes here. One is the developer like you and me. And one is called KM, knowledge manager. So a developer and a KM. What's the difference? These are two different personas, two different job roles in the market. So first job role is basically the SAP UI5 and Fury developer. That's nothing but you and me. We are SAP UI5 and Fury developer. The second persona is called KM managers call as knowledge managers km means knowledge manager consultants which are language experts in a particular one or multiple languages they are the experts of language yes a speaking language or writing language skills they have on a particular language so what are the jobs and duties and responsibility of an abap or sorry as a ui5 developer the main responsibility is to enable application to be translated. Application to be translated. That's the main responsibility of a application developer. You need to, you are an enabler. You are an enabler that tomorrow if this application required to be translated, you are enabling it. That's your duty. That's your duty. If you don't enable this function or feature, then KM cannot do anything. This application can never be translated. So in this process, what you need to do? We need to maintain a file of all the labels, text labels. of the app named as i18n.properties. By the way, this concept is also known as internationalization. You are taking your application international. So i18n is a short form of internationalization. You see internationalization. There are 18 characters between i and n there are 18 characters 
between I and N. That's why it's called I eighteen N. Wow. Woo hoo! Secrets of UI five guys. Secrets of UI five. Internationalization. Yes, internationalization. So that is what it is called. So maintain all the text cells, labels, titles as part of I eighteen N properties file. This is the first work which you need to do as a design time process. Once you maintain the i eighteen n dot properties file and maintain all the labels, you need to also follow naming convention, which I will also show you. Yes, in this process, maintain all the labels, maybe in the default language English, and then create a resource model and set it at app as named model. Maybe you can name I18N as the named model. Once the model is set, as the next step, what you do is you can then bind instead of hard coded labels to the I18N. All the labels with this, you bind it. This is the job of a UI five consultant, and then comes is the knowledge manager. The main responsibility of knowledge manager is to translate all the static labels and display and test. So what they do, technically speaking, they will copy the default i eighteen n file and put it with name underscore iso language code. So they will put a another file next to i eighteen n with i eighteen n underscore iso language code. These ISO language codes you can find on Google quite easily. Let me show you ISO language code. Yes, you can go and search for different different language codes. It's here for even Hindi. You see, it's HI. Yes. So for all the languages, we have the ISO language code. You can just go and check them. I'll put them in the slide. So this is the second part of the story where they need to copy the default file and put the name. The third thing which they need to do is they need to do the testing. To test the app, they can use a URL parameter, question mark SAP UI language equals to the ISO code. This way you can test in the same browser multiple multiple applications. I mean multiple languages for the same application. You can see if translation is working or not. So one quick disclaimer or note: I am not an expert here on different languages, but let's assume I am working in a project and we our company don't have budget. To hire a separate KM consultant, separate language expert, we can use. Of course, that is of course management is approving. Management is saying that you can proceed, and don't worry about you know exact precise translation. Of course, I'm not a language expert. So, as a as a developer, you can also do the KM work due to limited budgets. So we can use Google Translator or Babylon to perform this activity. instead of KM. So as part of our training, I'm going to show both the personas as a UI5 developer, what we need to do and as a KM consultant, what we need to do. Both personas we will discuss in our training and then we will have final demo of translating our application. So I would like to today translate our current application from English to Hindi language 
and then we will look at the demo makes sense so now as a developer what is the next step next step is the testing so there are two ways to test this option number one you can go back to the to the browser where you're running your application and especially in the chrome or firefox or any browser we have these settings and here we have the language settings to choose and you can make german language as your default preferred language so you can add languages add languages hindi german any language and make that language as your default language but this will now affect everything when you play google gmail youtube everything everywhere it will translate to german we don't want to do that you know for just for testing purpose i don't want to change my whole browser language but usually think about it if somebody opens their application from germany they are already using this setting in their browser they're already set to default german so when they open the application naturally pick up the the file with underscore de with his german yes but as a consultant we need to be smart we cannot if you have 20 languages you cannot come here and change 20 times and that that to affect other other experiences as well so you cannot do that i mean can do but should not do that it will be too much of effort for you so this is option one but naturally the users from that country would have used the browser in their local language but that's okay so what can we do here to test quickly without changing the browser language option two you can go back on the top and put question mark sap ui language equal to hi hindi we have the file since we have the file for hindi it will pick up the translated labels from that file enter voila you can see all our application is now translated to hindi language yes everything translated to hindi that's the beauty of translation that's the beauty of resource model this is why we use resource model if you enjoy this video please smash the like button and subscribe our channel for more videos like this then we can also see german translation so just put de press enter and voila you can see now everything translated to german language yes this way we can quickly use the resource model in sap ui5 and provide translation of our content